Hi, welcome back. Okay, in this tutorial, we'll be carrying on uh, from where we have left off earlier, where we have learned how to create structural members. Okay, now, we left off okay, by mentioning that okay, all these members that you see on screen, they are actually some form of interference. Okay, these members are sort of eating into one another. So in this tutorial, we will be going through with you this command called trim, okay, where we will use this uh, trim tool to help us uh, cut all these structural members so that they fit nicely together um, in this uh, Wellman's design. Okay, so let's take a look at how we use the trim tool. So we just click on trim, okay, and we will start off by selecting the bodies that we want to trim. So uh, let's start off with the bottom pieces. Okay, so I would like to trim this piece over here and this piece on the far side. Okay, and under trimming boundary, you have the option of selecting whether you want a face to be used as a trimming boundary. Okay, or you can uh, use other bodies okay, in a way to do Boolean subtraction okay, to trim all these bodies away. So let me just select a uh, face, okay, and I would like to trim this between this face and this face over here. Okay, and once you have done that, you should see a very nice preview in yellow okay, inside SolidWorks. So if you're happy with this, just click on OK and just zoom in to inspect the trim okay, to see if it is OK. So it's OK on this side. Okay, now let me do the same on the other side. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to trim these two members. Okay, so we go to the trim tool again. Okay, so I'd like to trim this body and this body over here. Okay, and I'd like to place them between this face and this face. Okay, now you notice earlier on, if you're observant enough, okay, just now there was a gap here. So when you do the trim command, they are, not only do they cut away the members, okay, if it's too short, it will extend the members to meet at these two faces over here. Just hit on OK. Okay, and just zoom in to visually inspect to see if uh, this is correct. And it looks okay. So let me go back to my isometric view. Now this time round, okay, we are going to uh, do the trim on the top structural members. So I think our 3D sketch is in the way, so let me hide this away. So just click on it and click on the hide command. So let me start off by trimming away the horizontal members. So we go to trim. Okay, I would like to trim this member and this member. Okay, and I want to trim them between this planar face over here and this face here. Okay, once I'm okay, just click on okay. Okay, and let me do the other side. So we go to trim again. I would like to trim this body and this body. Okay, and under the face to trim, okay, I like to trim between this face. You notice you have extended itself again, and this face on this side. Okay, and you see for this case it has shortened. Okay, so if, when you're okay with this, just click on OK. Okay, and we will go on to trim the center two lateral beams. So we go to trim, okay, select these two borders, uh, these two bodies to trim, okay, and I'm going to trim them between this face and this face. Okay, and hit OK. Okay, next we will trim the two shorter pieces in the middle. So we go to trim, okay, select these two bodies. Okay, I would like to trim between this face and this face. Okay, we are almost done. Okay, so the next uh, bodies we need to trim will be these diagonal beams. All right, so uh, let's do all. Maybe I'll do two at a time. Okay. Um, okay, so I will do. Let's say these two pieces first. Okay, I'd like to trim them between this face. Oh. But just now we have learned how to trim them using. Uh, faces and planes. Okay, let's see how we use the body tool for trimming. So I can trim them between this body, this body, and this body. So you see they've actually extended itself. Okay, so you have to be very careful when you're doing the trim. 
So make sure you take a look at the at the preview. Okay, if this is not what we want, okay, we may need to trim them one by one. Okay, so uh, let me trim this body first. Okay, I want to trim it between this face. Oops, okay, and this face below here. Okay, and of course they would ask you what are the bodies that you want to keep or discard. So if you need to discard the end pieces, just make sure you click on this option here. So if you're okay with this, just click on OK and you see it's nicely trimmed. Okay, let me repeat the same on the other side. So I'm going to trim this. Okay, let's try the body command again. I'm going to trim this using this body and this body. Ah, there you go. It looks very nice now. Okay, and let's do the same on the other side. Okay, I'd like to trim this body using the body's fun command, this one and this one. Okay, and let's do the last one. Okay, we go to trim. Okay, select the body we want to trim and select the trimming bodies. Hit OK. So, there you go. We have finished trimming our structural member. Now, so, uh, well, we can continue sketching all the other flaws and reuse the same commands that we have learned so far. Okay, but to save time, okay, I'm going to use the pattern command. So I'm going to do a linear pattern, okay, maybe in the downward direction. Okay, uh, let's say about uh, 20 mm away. Okay, I'm going to pattern uh, these few bodies. Okay, this body here, this one over here, this on this side. Okay, just select all the bodies that you want to pattern. Okay, the cross brace as well, this piece this piece, this piece, and this piece. Now at this moment, I do not know uh, what are the height, uh, what is the height to the floor. So what I can do is, okay, just increase the pattern distance. Okay, maybe, okay, let's do um, a pattern of 200 mm apart. Okay, you see a very nice preview. Okay, so if you're happy with this, just click on OK, and we have created an even more complex looking uh, Wellman structure. Okay, so to round off this portion, okay, uh, we are going to model a baseboard at the bottom. Okay, so to model a baseboard, okay, what we can do is uh, select any flat face in SolidWorks to create a sketch. So I'm going to select on this face and go to Sketch, and I'm going to sketch a simple rectangle. Okay, so let me start a rectangle. So maybe from here to about here. Okay. And I can go on to dimension this rectangle. So let's say this rectangle is, um, let's say it's 250, okay, by 250. Okay, and I can uh, just add a distance from here to here. Okay, let's say this is 20. And maybe on this side, let's make this 20. Okay, so if you are okay with this sketch, okay, to turn this into a baseboard, you go to features and just thicken this sketch by using the extrude command. Okay, so they'll show you a nice preview. Okay, you can extrude it upwards or downwards. And I'm going to extrude this downwards by about 6 mm and hit OK. So there you go. We have our structure with a baseboard.